Laana ya Mungu imeandikwa sawa sawa na kitabu cha Methali sura ya tatu mstari wa 33. The curse of God is written according to the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 33. Biblia naandika. The Bible says, Laana ya Bwana i katika nyumba ya waovu. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the sinners. Bali huibariki maskani ya mwenye haki. But he bless the home of the righteous. Hebu sema laana ya Mungu. Say the curse of God. I katika nyumba ya watu waovu. Is in the home of the evils. Ndio, Bwana akaniambia. God was telling the man of God. Kwa wale walio ligeuza neno la Mungu kuwa miungu kwao to the ones that they turn the word of god to be gods in them ama kulifanya miungu mingine ni chukizo or to make it to be as a gods it's an detestable watu wa namna hiyo mungu atapigana nao people of this type god going to fight with them na watu wa namna hiyo wamekuwa na laana yake mungu and this type of people have been cast by god kwa sababu wanachukua maneno ya mungu because they take the word of god Alafu bila ruhusa ya Mungu without the authority of God Alafu anasema haya ndio maneno ya Mungu aliyonipa He says this is the word of God that he gave me Na wakati unajua hajakupa And you know he did not give it to you Wewe umeyachukua tu kwa nafsi yako kwa utashi wako kwa kutaka faida ya watu You just took by your own intelligence because you want benefit from people Bwana kanaambia hao ndio wanaopataga laana yangu God says those are the ones that have my curse Na akaniambia And he told the man of God Laana inakuwa juu yao ambao inatoka kwangu. The curse is on them that comes from me God. Na hasa watumishi wale wanaojijua ama wanaijua njia yake. Especially to the servants that know the way of God. Manake wanaojua njia ya Mungu manake walioitwa na Mungu. The ones that they know the way of God the means the one that were anointed by God. Alafu wakageuka wakaacha kwenda kama Mungu alivyowaita. But they turn and they did not go how God called them. Laana ya Mungu inakuwa juu yao. The curse of God become on them. Na Bwana akaniambia hakuna awezaye kuigeuza hiyo laana juu yao. And God says there's no one can turn that uh, curse over them. Ni mpaka pale watakaporejea kwa toba na kwa kilio na kwa maombolezo makubwa. Is until they turn back by uh, repenting and confessing by crying out to the Lord. Bwana akaniambia God was telling the man of God. Wako watumishi wengi walioingiwa na tamaa katika huduma zao. There were most call, uh, servants of God that wakaingiwa na tamaa katika huduma zao, wakaanza kuwatoza watu fedha. They were once envied by us uh, uh, having other things. They started uh, asking money from uh, people. Fedha ambazo mimi Mungu sikuwaambia watoze watu wangu. Money that I God I did not instruct them to ask. Lakini wao wakawatoza watu wangu fedha. But them they ask money from my people. Mungu anaambia hiyo watakuwa na laana yangu. God says those people are going to have my curse. Bwana kaniambia. God was telling the man of God. Watumishwa ina hiyo. This kind of servants. Ambao walichukua mali za watu. That took some people's properties. Kwa kutumia neno langu. By using my words. Lakini mimi sikuwatuma. But I did not send them. Hiyo ni balabulu. That is a very bad tragedy. Kumbuka Remember The commander Naman was healed. Alikuwa amebeba zawadi. He was he was carrying gifts. Fedha si shida kwa watu. Money is not a problem to people. Mtu anaweza kukupa chochote. A person can give you anything. Madam ametendewa. As long as something has been done. Lakini lazima msikilize aliyemtendea. But you must listen to the one that did something for that person. Matokeo yake the result naman yakondoka na zawadi naman took his gifts akaenda kwenye nyumba ya elisha he went to the house of elisha akamwambia hakika wewe ni mtumishi wa mungu he say surely you are the servants of god umeniagiza kwa agizo la mungu mimi nilikuwa na, naanza kukataa nilipoti tu nimefunguliwa you instructed my men's instruction of god madam you are free kuja hapa unafunguliwa because you obey to come here you be delivered akamwambia sasa nina zawadi hizi hapa. He say now I have gifts here they are. Hizi ni kwa ajili yako. This is for you. Kwa sababu mimi nimetoka taifa la mbali. Because I come from far nation. Elisha kasikiliza kwa aliyemponya. Elisha listen to the God that healed that yuko man. Yuko aliyemponya. There is a man that healed him. Wana wa Mungu yuko anayowaponya na aliyowaponya. People of God there is a man that healed you. Tusipokosea kwake nataka nikwambie kila wakati utamuona Mungu katika utukufu wa ajabu. If we don't go against him every time we're gonna see him with a very high glory. Ndio maana madhabahu ni yakuombea sana. That's why is it is something to be prayed for. Ukijua madhabahu yoyote na sali Mungu anajifunua kupitia huyo mtumishi. Sikiliza kazi yako ni 
Omba kuliko anavyo fikiri. If you know the altar that you were, you worship and God use a person that your work is to pray Mana for it. Mana ya maisha yako na kizazi chako. Because it's a, a definition of your life and your de- descendants. Ikiharibika if it's ruined kama utaipata ingine kwa rais. If you're going to get another one easily that's Nenda impossible. Nenda miulise Biblia kama itakuambia waliopatikana alafu wakainuliwa waka, wakafa angalia kama inatokea haraka. Go and ask the Bible if the people that were uplifted and they died if they were found as a people to Say amen if you understand. That, that means there is many servants that God took them to the church. And his God called him. And when people were there sees God. But remember servants they have their own problems. They were given the presence of God to represent God in the earth. God was explained to the man of God. That men most When I put them before these people before this church. And as they saw me from uh, uh, through that man. They loved him and be delivered. But they did not care of the needs of that man physically. Because I've set him apart for that work. They left him. They did not care of his needs for him to remain in the presence of God to do not suffer for the needs that he needs. Na kwa sababu watumishi wanamwokopa Mungu adhiao wanakuja ukuta hawa wanashindwa kufanyaje wanaanza kutafuta mahitaji yao kutafuta vibarua vyao matokeo yake mwisho kile kitu kikapoa wakawa because men of God are God fearing they did not say this to the church members so they started looking for their own needs until to the point that what God put in them is to shut down God was telling the man of God wale ambao wanajua watumishi wangu wa kweli wanasimama na kweli na wanajifunua mimi Mungu upitia wao wawatunze wale watumishi mtumishi akipewa majibu yake mahitaji yake na familia yake akabaki kunilingana mimi sawa sawa na kitabu cha matendo ya mitume sura ya sita na ule msto wa sita wakaacha kuhudumu mezani wakaenda kuomba na kulihudumia lile neno ndipo wanasema ustawi wa Mungu utakuwa mkubwa kwa kanisa na kupanuka na kupanuka God was telling the man of God to tell this to the church that if they believe that a man of God have before them is a true man of God and have seen God through that person they should take care of his need for him to remain in the presence of God to hear and to take care of the church Ah shetani amekamata watumishi pale ambapo wanapoachwa na kanisa hawatunzwi ila wanapenda tu wasikie kile cha Mungu mwishoni wale watu wanaohitaji wana watoto wanaachwa baada wanakuwa kama watu wa kawaida na mwisho ndipo adui anapopata nafasi ya kuwaloga wale watumishi na kufunga njia zao za baraka zao na zikifungwa kanisa litaendelea na baada ya hapo unaanza sema huyu hana opako tena hana opako tena kumbe wao waliletewa kitu cha maana wakashindwa kukitunza because Because servants of God once they are abandoned by the church they're not in, been taking care of their needs a uh, devil have the opportunity to bind them because instead of uh, applying for the needs you just want to receive from them but you're not taking care of, of them then uh, devil comes and witch their mindset and then after that the thing that got put in it just dies maybe the call of Elijah was felt alipoona Elisha kakataa zile zawadi. When he see Elisha did not took the gift. Ameukataa ule utajiri. He didn't took the richness. Gehazi akaangalia. Just looked. Na watu hao wakaondoka. And these people left. Gehazi akamwambia Elisha mimi niko niko hapa hapa. Just told Elisha I'm just around. <coughs> Niko hapa kwenye nyumba yangu hapa kwa hiyo nitakukuta baadaye. I'm just here around. Au kuna jambo lingine hapa nikusaidie? Ah, hamna shida nenda kapumzika haya. Is there anything you want me to help you? Akasema maana itakao amefika hapa mpaka wapi? Where did they follow? He follow these people. Oh, yongo ikaanzia hapo. The spirit of lying started there. Unapoitwa kama huta kula gharama ya kumsikiliza Mungu unaweza kapinduliwa katika tusifike hatima yako Once you're called if you don't take uh, the time to seek for God you may be turned uh, before you reach your destiny Akaenda akawakuta Jamadari Naman alipoona mtu anawakimbilia sema he kuna shida nyingine mbona nakuona wewe Gehazi akasema 
Kuna wageni wameingia sasa hivi kwa bwana wangu amenituma anasema unipe hizo zawadi nipeleke kwa sababu wana wa manabii wamekuja wanahitaji kula. The, this man went and said uh, there is a guest in the home of my master he asked me to come and receive the gift because they gonna need it. Bwana kaniambia ukitumia maandiko yake bila kuruhusa yake maana yake ni roho ya uongo na waambia watu wangu. God says through the man of God if you use the word of God uh, uh, for for having things from people that means you're lying to them. No, no, so kaua nafsi nyingi za watu you can kill a lot of uh, souls spiritual Gehazi akaenda akapewa zile mali alipofika sema nyenye endeni tukumbie amezipewa lakini alipofika kwa Elisha sulijua kilichotokea Just took the uh, the, w- the wealthness but when he went to Elisha you know what happened Mungu atusaidie May God help us Bwana akaniambia watu wa aina hiyo God told the man of God this type of people Wana laana yangu mimi Mungu They have my curse I Lord Na kama hawataiona mbingu And surely they won't see the heaven Hata kama wanakaa madhabahuni Even if they say in the altar Mungu akaniambia God told the man Hata of God Hata kama wanajiita watumishi Even if they call themselves servants of Hata God Hata kama wameinuliwa sana Even if they are uplifted Bwana akaniambia God was telling them hawatakaa waone mlango wa ufalme wangu mimi Mungu. They will never see the interest of the kingdom of God. Maana laana hiyo inatembea kwao inayotoka kwangu. It's working with them that it comes from me. Bwana kaniambia. God was telling the man of God. Laana yangu ni fimbo inayochapa sana. My curse is an stick that beats very Hasa very hard. Hasa watumishi waliojua sauti yangu. Especially to the servants that they once knew my voice. Kaniambia hata wakienda kwa wanadamu kuombewa rehema. So even if they go to human to be prayed for mercy. Rehema hiyo haitapata kibali mbele zangu. The mercy won't have favor on my eyes. Bwana kaniambia. God was telling the man of God. Maana walimkufuru roho mtakatifu niliyowapa ndani yao because they abused the holy spirit that i gave them bwana kaendelea kuniambia god kept on saying niliwawekea roho mtakatifu i gave them holy spirit ili awaongoze so he can lead them wakamkataa si waongoze and they refused to be led by the holy spirit wakampinga they denied the holy spirit bwana kaniambia god says watumishi wengi most servants ninawatafutaga i search for them ninapoanza kuamini When I start believing or trust them. Muda mfupi. Shortly. Wanakaa kwenye njia yangu muda mfupi wanaondoka. They stay on my ways shortly then they leave. Bwana kaniambia. God says. Pale wanaondoka pale wanapoona mafanikio ya kibinadamu yanaanza kuja. They leave once they see a benefit physically starts to approach them. Hawanisikilizi tena. They don't hear from me or listen to me. ujumbe. They start changing the message. Ujumbe niliyowapa wanaugeuza wanafanya wanavyotaka. The message that I give to them they turn it and do as they wish. Wanaanza kunikataa. They start denying me. Reject me. Bwana kaniambia wanaanza kunikataa mimi Mungu niliyowaita. God says they started rejecting me the God that I called. Kana mbele jambo hilo limekuwa ni chukizo mbele ya macho yangu. God says this have been detestable in his eyes. Bwana kaendelea kuniambia. God kept on says. Bwana nitafuta sana wakiwa bado wako chini. They seek for me once they are still down. Kimaisha kihuduma. In, in life in calling. Wakishaanza kupata kibali wananikana mimi Mungu. Once they have the, the favor they deny me God. Jambo hilo limekuwa ni huzuni mbele zangu. This have been my has been sad on my eyes. Bwana kaniambia natafuta mtu ama watu watakaye niwakilisha duniani. God says he's searching or seeking for people that are gonna represent him on Ta- the earth. Natafuta mtu atakaye yaonyesha kweli yangu duniani. I'm looking for a person that gonna show my truth on the earth. Maana mimi Mungu ni kweli. Because me God I am the truth. Bwana kaniambia. God says to the man of God. Watu hawa nawaandaaga kwa gharama kubwa. These people I normally taking care of them or prepare them with a high Uh, cost wanapofika katikati ya safari wakati na nawainua when they reach half of the way to the way that i want to uplift them wanageuka they turn wanaanza kunihuzunisha they, wa- they start to make me sad wanaanza kunipinga na they, wanageuka they start reject me and they turn watu hawa these people hawatafanikiwa they won't be prospered hukumu yao itaanza hapa duniani the judgment gonna start on the earth mungu akaniambia god was telling them maana wamepoteza watu wengi because of uh, lost a lot of people akaniongezea he added wako wengi watumishi niliowaamini kama viongozi wa ngazi ya taifa hili kiroho there is some servants that i trusted them like high people in the nation ili waongoze watu wangu njia yangu so they can lead my people in my way lakini wakageuka katikati but they turned halfway wakageuka kabla sijawatambulisha sana they turned before i was introduced them more 
Watumishi wa namna hiyo Bwana kaniambia. These type of servants God was t- saying. Wakatubu na kulia na kuomboleza kwa muda mrefu ndipo nitakumbuka rehema. They should lament and confess before God and cry out to him then he gonna remember mercy over them. Waanze na siku saba watu wa aina hiyo ambao walisikia sauti yangu na maelekezo yangu. They should start with seven days people of this type that once had my voice. Za kufunga maombi kavu na kuomboleza na kulia. They should take on a dry fasting prayer for seven days lamenting and confessing before God. Na zile njia ambazo walisababisha kutoka kwangu kwa tamaa zao. And the way that they cause for their own desire. Hizo njia wakaziache. They should leave those ways. Na hayo matendo wakayaache. And they should leave those acts but act. Wanigeukie? They should turn. Nitakumbuka rehema. I will remember mercy. I hope you've understand. Jesus. Bishop ask God why God says I have take out curse from many generation. Na watu wengi hao watakwenda kwa hao watumishi. And the most people gonna go to these servants. Wao wanajua au hawajui. They may be no or no no. Wao watenda mioyo safi maana wamefunguliwa laana. They gonna go with a pure heart because I've been delivered from curse. Na wao ni wahudumie kupitia watumishi hao. And they would want me to serve them through these servants. Kwa kujua au kutokujua lakini mimi na kesi na baadhi ya hao watumishi walioacha njia yao wakao na tafuta mafanikio kwa kutumia neno langu bila kujua wananikosea mimi for them knowing or unknowing some of the servants are in my case because i've used my words to have things that they desire bwana kanaambia nimewaonya kwa neno langu because as i've warned them by my words watakao geuka to the ones that are going to turn na kuamua and, be, and uh, decide ndipo then ndani ya siku saba hao ambao waligeuza neno wa kutafuta faida kama gas in the seven days these people that were turned by the spirit of having benefits i'm going to have mercy of them lakini watakuwa wameomboleza sana na kulia na kujuta na kueleza kimoja baada ya kingine walichokifanya but they must regret and cry out to the lord and explain one by one of what they did ndipo then nitakaporehemu nitasema nao i'm going to have mercy and talk to them nitakaposimama mbele ya watu wangu nitaanza kuwapa kibali tena once they stand before my people i'm going to give them the favor na watu wangu ambao nimeondoa laana kwenye vizazi wao ndipo wataanza kuniona nikijidhihirisha ndani yao and my people that have taken cast from their generation they're going to see me using that per- person ndipo nitajenga kanisa langu wala hakuna atakayeweza kulibusa then god going to build his church and nobody going to touch it asante kwa kunisikiliza mungu akubariki sana thank you for listening and god bless you